guys, Hidup Essentials here. For today's video, I am finally going to be working on the other side of my closet, this side. This was never shown in the other video because I didn't have my cabinets just yet. Now, I don't have a lot of clothes, so I'm going to use this area here for something else. This side here would be for a chair or a sitting area. That's why I used a short curtain and that was what I had. But these parts here are going to be covered. Now you're supposed to hang clothes there, but because I don't have a lot of clothes, I will do something else there on those two open spaces. I thought about working on a design on a foam board. That way it would be easy for me to remove it if I don't need that design there anymore. This is what I'll be attaching to the foam board and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I'm going to trim the edges off and attach it to the wall. This looks really small up here, so I'm going to add some more at the bottom. I use tack nails to attach them to the wall. And after I added the remaining pieces at the bottom, I just put flowers in there. Now on the other side of my closet, it has provision for clothes and many other things. So like I said, I don't have a lot of clothes, so this is more than enough. But because I didn't want the other section to remain empty, I had to do something with it. So this is how it is when it's open, but it does come with doors. I personally am not a fan of having my clothes exposed, even though in a closet it's typical and a lot of people love it that way, but I really would prefer my clothes and clothes. So this design for a closet is perfect for me because my clothes are gonna be covered. I assembled and mounted all of the doors. Now on the other side, that's close to where this other section is, is where I built storage for my shoes. I use cubes for this particular project and it does have its own video and a link for that video is going to be down in the description box below. When I was comfortable with the arrangement of the cubes, I then went ahead with a strong adhesive to keep them all firmly binded together. To keep the shoe section interesting, I decided to go ahead to add marble contact paper on one side of it. And on this side, it's gonna have a mirror and some jewelries. I added a shelf here for better organization. I measure the space that I have and I got wood that will fit in there for the shelving and I painted it white. This is a thick LED light that's just going to be at the background. Now the list for all the items that I'll be using in this project are going to be down in the description box below. At a corner, a part of the LED strip was exposed, so I'm going to hide that with a little plant. The section besides it, the doors are complete. Now this other side here is also going to have a little wardrobe that's going to be for maybe clothes that I don't use as much but then instead of just putting up a wardrobe there that's going to be an extra I decided to use one that has a mirror now I'm going to be working on the door next to it I decided to change a door that was given to me that I did not like after a makeover was done for my bathroom so this is the door that leads 
from the closet to the bathroom and this was the door that was given to me by the company i don't know why they did that so instead of me having to spend so much money to buy a brand new door i'm just gonna cover it up in a way that would still look presentable without spending too much money now all i did was to take a board and cover it with marble contact paper that's gonna go in the front and at the back of the door Next thing I'm going to do is add mirrors to the design. For my closet, I'm going to be using this handle and it's self-adhesive. And I will have one in the front and one at the back. And it will look much more better than it did before. And this tape is not just for decorative purposes only, but to cover up the lines on the door. I just thought I should share this with you guys so you know what I did to a door instead of buying a brand new one. And this is what it looks like. And I have to say that it looks way better than it did before. I really love the effect that the LED strip is giving to my closet. Now I also added a chandelier. These are some Hobby Lobby finds that I was so excited to get. And these are storage boxes and they're all for spring. So they were going for a surprisingly cheap amount. So I got a set. I actually got three sets, but I'll just be using two. And as you can see, the prices, they're super, super affordable. And guess what? Apart from it being super affordable, I actually got the whole thing for 50% off again because they were on sale. I put just one set up there and the other set is in my office. Now this down here is so plain. So what I'm going to be doing is using gold metallic tape to make some sort of design. And because it's gold, it's going to go with what's above it. When I'm done with a design that I'm trying to work on, I'm gonna be using decorative onlays in the middle. I got this from Amazon and the link for it is gonna be down in the description box below. I took them all out and I spray painted them gold just so that they can go with the gold that's going on in the closet. These are going to be attached to the drawers with a strong adhesive. You might have noticed already that these particular drawers don't come with the handles. They make them that way. It actually works for what I want to use it for. This part here is going to be the seating area. I'm going to have a fur rug on the floor and something that's not white for the seating area, just so that I don't have everything here all white, white. <laughs> now in the middle of the closet, right beneath the chandelier will be a different rug. And I'm gonna be using this one because it has a little bit of hint of gold there, even if it looks like yellow, but let's just assume it's gold. Now I'm gonna be using cubes in the middle and covering the front part of the cubes and decorating it in such a way that it would look like drawers, not cubes. The goal here is not to make it too obvious that I used cubes here. So whatever it is I need to store in my cubes will be on the other side. I also added knobs to give an illusion like they're actually drawers. Because I have a lot of gold going on, I added some gold metallic tape to the handles of my wardrobe. I added mirror and glass boxes that I got from at-home stores on top of the cubes. This is another part of the project that I love so much and that is picking out decor pieces. Some decor items can be pretty expensive in some stores, but can you believe that this particular one is less than $10? The link for it is gonna be down in the description box below.
Guys, quick one. Before we go back into the project, I want you all to know that the reason why I haven't been available 100% is because for months now, I've been cooking up something just for you because you all have been asking me to do this for years. So finally, I am thrilled to announce that I'll be launching a brand new course for my DIY lovers out there aimed at empowering you with what you have and making a living off of it. I can't even begin to tell you how stoked I am to embark on this journey with all of you. I have poured my heart, soul, and a lot of glitter into this, and I know it's gonna be transformative for a lot of you. Now here's the cherry on top. For those of you who are super eager and can't wait, like me, I've set up a special link where you can register to be the first to know when this course goes live. And trust me, being the first has its perks. The link is right below, so go on and click it. And if you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on this exciting opportunity. I love you all to the moon and back. Now looking at how this turned out, I am really pleased with the end results. This is the section at the back where the cubes are that I have little items displayed there. I really love how the closet does not have clothes all over the place. But of course, on the other side, the shoes are well exposed, but I want it that way. I prefer my shoes to be exposed than the clothes. With the clothes, it's really hard to keep all the colors together at all times, let's be honest. So with the shoes here, I can keep them exposed. And I really love how that corner too turned out as well. If I make any changes to my closet in the future, I will definitely be sharing it with you guys so you can see how it turned out and what it looks like after the changes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below, including the link for the course that's coming up. And for those who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.